going to take that spot. He's going to wait to hear clear from his spotter. Yeah, Tony got it. Looked like he got into the corner a little bit hard right there. You see the car bounce around a little bit. Got a good run up off it. Jimmy Johnson's carrying a lot of momentum off of that high side. And what a great race this is. Two former two-time cup champions going at it. Looking over at Johnson, looking back at Stewart. Stewart gets a good grip coming off out of turn four, but Jimmy Johnson has the advantage up high. Yeah, Stewart led the last lap by all of that happened. Jimmy Johnson came back and led that lap. Look at Tony Stewart just jamming that throttle back in, hoping it'll stick on the bottom of the racetrack, and Jimmy not going to give him that middle group. See Jimmy really take the car and let it roll fast. Tony got out of the throttle a little bit and back to the throttle a little bit sooner. Back to the throttle fast. Jimmy Johnson led that lap once again at the line. They can do this all the way to the finish right here. Now, Denny Hamlin's back in third, but I don't think that he can get there. He's about two seconds behind these guys. Uh, Stewart's got him by a bumper coming up the back stretch. Well, he got a nice run off of there. You see Jimmy really letting his car roll. He may be heating his tires up a little bit, trying to, to get down in the corner a little bit hard, isn't he? Well, he's only got six laps to go, so I guess just might as well use them up here. This is where Stewart has been the best, coming off a of turn two. That's where he was able to pull up alongside the 48 a moment ago and get him by half a car lick. Now he can't do it as Johnson pulls him by a car lick. How hungry do you think Tony Stewart is? <laughs> yeah, we know how much this guy how likes clean, to win. How clean is he going to race Jimmy if he comes down to the last lap? Let's see, 39 races, Watkins Glen, August 2007. That's over a year. That's a long time for Tony Stewart. But Jimmy is not going to give it to him, but he wants these 10 points real bad. Now, you know, Jimmy wasn't running that high before Tony caught him, so he kind of forced his hand to go up there when Tony got to the inside of him, and it's actually been faster for Jimmy. Five to go. These guys are actually running lap times just about as fast as the third place car running when they're running side by side, and, and uh, Denny Hamlin's all by himself back there. I know we've talked a lot about the chase. Clint Boyer's in good shape. Uh, he's kind of set in right there right now. If nothing happens, uh, he's going to be the driver that's going to make the chase. But these guys are having a great battle for the lead. Three to go this time by. Tony actually moved up across. Tony had moved all the way up across the racetrack into the upper groove that time coming out of Ford. It didn't gain him anything. If anything, he lost a few car lengths. A couple of times, Tony it really forced Jimmy to get up higher and higher in the center of the corner, and he's really making this work. Clear by one, two to go. As much as Tony wants to win, this is ten more points that he's going to be that Jimmy Johnson's going to be closer to the lead. I'm so impressed with Jimmy Johnson because he was really beat. That 20 car had caught him and was going to pass him. He moved up a groove and found a way to make his car faster. Jimmy Johnson has won twice and had four top ten finishes in the last six races. Talk about momentum and how important it is heading into the chase. He dominates at California a week ago. He won both events at Richmond in 2007. Was disappointed about what happened here in May. But on a Sunday afternoon in September, Jimmy Johnson comes out and wins it at Richmond.